Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen. So let's continue designing the admin section. So since we're using Bootstrap, if you go to the Bootstrap website, let's get bootstrap.com and look at the docs. Let's make sure you select the version that you want here. I'm using 5.1, which is the latest right now. So I want to go to components and uh, list group. So list group has this list of items like this and you can add an active item like that so this is pretty much what we need so just click copy over here and uh, let's re replace these guys so i'm going to go to the app views and uh, that's uh, admin and admin view so right here where there's this uh, wait inside here actually paste okay very good so let's see what we have and there we go now um, I don't want a border for this one okay that's much better so that we have this and then we have that so let's put uh, what we had put here. Oh, what were the items actually? I don't remember. Products logout. Okay, so redo. Let me put the logout. And uh, products. Let me move products. Actually, this is fine. We can have users here. And then we can have, uh, what else can we have? We can have dashboard here. I don't need area current here for now. So let's leave that at active. That's not how dashboard is written. Okay, so dashboard users, let's add some icons, make it look more lo login-ish. So even this admin here, let's see. Uh, maybe we should center this. So I'll put a center thingy here, put it there. Let's put an i tag here use font awesome let's put a class now font awesome now with font awesome uh icons you can always go to fontawesome.com and then search for the these icons here you click on icons and then you can search for the icon that you want like for example this sign out out is for the logout so i can add it here if i just put an i tag Put a class so i need to have fa here and then fa dash whatever the name is there like this let me put a space over there and same thing here fa fa uh, user cogs that's usually what i use for admin let's come back here and refresh so there it is this icon is here but not um, I think it's user shield. He held like this. Okay. Let's refresh. Ah, there we go. Much better. Let's leave this space. And uh, what else? Uh, uh, yeah, so that's the shield. Let's put a class here. Uh, padding two, padding two. Okay, so admin, but the text rather here is too uh, too dark for my liking. So let me put everything inside a div. That's way I can put a uh, style and say color. This color is uh, 888. 
very light not very light but well it is turns out it's a very light gray uh, that's not what i want let's put 666 mm, anyway it's up to you 444 let's try that these guys are too light okay i'll leave it at that and let me add more of these so copy here add there right there that here so on this one i will do uh hmm what is this one th th large and then this one can be users and this one can be hamburger hamburger okay let's refresh and there we go so at least we have some icons but let's leave some space between the icons and the text and uh, let's refresh okay there we go all right so we have an active thing here the only uh, problem is we don't get uh let's see here let's do a style cursor pointer okay but actually we don't need this because if we add an a tag here it's going to automatically do this for us so these items should be in a tags let's see if that helps at all I'm going to move this let's do this instead uh, let's see how that works refresh okay much better but then there's text decoration here which I want to be none the lines um, Let's see here. Index home. Uh, let's go to partial header. And right here, let's add a style. Actually, instead of adding styles here, let's uh, add our own uh, style sheet here. So text CSS, assets, CSS. And then we'll call this one main.css. So we put this at the end because we want to be able to override these others. So what I'll do is go to assets and inside CSS. I'll create a new file and save this as main.css. And then in here, I would say uh, for everything, text decoration should be none. So let's add for the body and say text decoration none okay so let's see if that line will disappear uh, the line does not disappear so maybe let's be very specific body a let's see here okay so that worked and now let's see so for to change which one is i can close this main one and the header as well so which means we can do this for everybody let's put uh, that that looks here and there let's do this paste and then this one close the a tag So tab, 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 tab. Uh huh. Okay, we are good here. There we go. Okay, so at least we have a design now. So if I want to make sure that products is the active one, I simply have to make sure that product is the active one by putting that there like so 
and refresh and then that becomes the active one and in here I will want to display the active uh, hmm. okay not yet let's do this uh, we need to put an if statement here and I'll put an if statement and say if tab okay if tab is equal to so if tab is equal to products like so then let me render out the active like this put a full colon otherwise I will echo out an empty string so it's this simple so I'm going to copy this put it here as well and there and there paste and then I'm just going to put um, so tab here by default is going to be equal to home um, or just admin like this uh -huh. And then this one will be users products and then logout is not one to be active for anything because it's just a link to the logout page so here for every link what I will do is put the index.php and then PG is equal to I'll start with logout and let's go with products as well and then users and then this one is a home or admin oh wait this is actually wrong every page will be admin so let's put that straight over there let's put an and and let's say tab is equal to and yes that's how it is okay pretty good uh -huh. here I'll say if not tab that's what I'll do here just remove the admin there so if tab is not set that one is the real deal so let's see how this will work so refresh there it is if I click on users tab is users so the only problem is tab is not set so let's go to controllers admin and right here I'm just going to say tab is equal to if the get variable um, tab is set then let's set it to that otherwise let's set it to a no value like so and that's it so now if I refresh uh, I go to a specific this one except this one doesn't do anything so this though it's supposed to go to page logout so I'll do this that way we are logged out when we click on logout boom logged out email at email.com password okay very good and then admin section and then products so I want to be able to see the products here so um, let's see if I want to here I can put dashboard on this instead mm -hmm. let's see tab is equal to dashboard okay let me do that instead so let's do dashboard And let me come back here why I want to do that is because I want to have an h1 or maybe h2 tag here and then do this and then set it to tab close that but I want this to be uh, string to upper so that it's on uppercase tab and then which means I need to add something here which is dashboard dashboard with a small letter D 
and that should work just fine okay so either dashboard or nothing so here i'll say dashboard or tab is equal to dashboard okay either of those should work aha uh -huh. so products users oops <laughs> wait a second okay so admin so we have dashboard we have users we have products don't click on the logout so let me try h4 this one i need it to have some padding so let me try padding four four is a bit much maybe three okay very good users dashboard mm -hmm. okay so let's create uh, the products now that we have this design thingy let's uh, create a table that shows all the products 